All right, guys, we're going to talk about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and we're going to focus in on characters and why characters are important in literature. And in particular, this is, this is a biography about Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So let's take a look and let's see why he was so important to our nation. So we have our table of contents, introduction, life in the South, starting his work, I have a dream in the glossary. And let's just do a quick picture walk. You see Abraham Lincoln. You see a house there, his childhood home, it looks like. <clears throat> you see some historical photos here. More historical photos. It's good stuff here. Okay, so here's our glossary. We'll start here. Civil War. The war between the northern and southern states of the United States of America between 1861 and 1865. Marches. Organized walks through the streets by people who are supporting or protesting something. Minister. A spiritual leader in a, protest, or a Protestant church. Refused. Turn down or did not go along with something. Rights, freedoms or powers that people can justly claim. Separation, the process of keeping things apart. Slavery, the state or condition of being a slave or property of another person. All right, so let's start reading. You read along with me, okay? Let's learn about Dr. Martin Luther King. Introduction. <clears throat> Each year we celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We remember the life and work of a great African-American leader. Who was this man, you might ask? Life in the South. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929. He grew up in a loving family. When he was 19, he decided to become a minister. His first job was at a church in the state of Alabama. There's his house. Alabama is in the South, where African Americans lived under unfair laws for many years. Before the Civil War, most black people were slaves to white owners. After the Civil War, slavery ended in America. But many states in the South then passed laws to keep blacks ap apart from whites. <clears throat> There's Abraham Lincoln. For colored only, you see in the picture that it says that. A black man drinks from a fountain, and I'll show you what I'm remembering, labeled for colored only in 1960. Around the time of this photo was taken, colored was the word often used to describe African Americans. This, these unfair laws took away the rights of many blacks. <clears throat> black children had to go to different poor schools than white children. Blacks had to use different drinking fountains and bathrooms on buses. Blacks had to sit in the back and give up their seats if whites wanted them. In 1955, a black woman refused to give up her bus seat to a white man. She was put in jail for breaking the law. When Martin heard what happened, he decided to act. And that, that woman was Rosa Parks. Starting his work, and it says here in this picture, blacks walked or shared cars instead of riding city buses. These women shared a station wagon to get around town. Martin wanted all Americans to have the same rights. He believed that if people worked together, they could change the unfair laws. He asked other African Americans to stop riding the city buses until the law was changed. Thousands of them stopped using the buses for almost a year. Some whites agreed that the law was unfair. Other whites liked things the way they were. They were angry that Martin wanted to change things. Some even threw a bomb at his house. But the city finally changed the law to allow blacks to sit wherever they choose on buses. Some angry white people belonged to a group called the Ku Klux Klan or the KKK. Members of the KKK burned a cross at a meeting. See, there it is. 
A group of marchers run for safety as they are sprayed with powerful fire hoses. There it is. I have a dream. In 1963, Martin helped lead marches to change other laws in the South. Many of the people at one march were children. When police used to force to stop the march, some of the children were badly hurt. Around the country, people saw how African Americans were treated. More and more people wanted to change the laws to be fair to everyone. When Martin led a march in Washington, D.C., more than 250,000 black and white Americans marched with him. Martin's 1963 march on Washington ended near the Washington Monument. At that time, it was the largest march ever held in the Capitol. At Martin Luther King Jr. gives his famous I Have a Dream speech. At the march, Martin spoke to a cheering crowd. He shared his dream that one day the color of a person's skin wouldn't matter. All people would be free at last. The next year, the United States passed a law ending the separation of blacks and whites. The work wasn't over, though. Many blacks were still poor. Their lives were still hard. Martin kept working for better homes, schools, and jobs for them. Then, in the spring of 1968, Martin was shot by a white man. Martin died at the age of 39. People around the world felt shocked and sad. Martin Luther King Jr. was a hero who worked to make the world a better place. Today, we remember him for helping to make the laws fair for people of every color. And that's the end. Very good book. Okay, so I want you guys to... Go into your Google Classroom, which I have opened up right here, and I ask, who was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and why was he so important to the nation? You're going to comment here. But I want it to be proper grammar. I want it to be complete sentences and proper grammar, and I want you to really think about why Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King, was so important to the United States. All right.